Hi guys, this is from Yes, and in this video, we are going to solve this playing with characters in C that is on the HackerRank website. Okay, so before solving this problem, uh, I'm going to share something with you guys. So if you are watching any of my video, then please watch till the end because there are a lot of things coming in the end of the part. Okay, and also one thing to note that if you didn't understand my explanation or you have any query about that particular explanation then you can just comment down all of your questions in that particular video in the comment section okay so i will uh, answer all of your queries okay so now let's take on this uh, problem so before solving any problem my funda will always be that please read about that particular problem and then come to that solution okay so in this problem we need to sub, uh, first of all take the user input as a character and then uh, a string and then we need to take a, a sentence over here means we need to just take the input from the user all these three values and then we are going to output these three values uh, line by line okay so first we take a character just like the input format given here and then we have take the then we need to take the string as an input and then we need to take the sentence as an input okay so what we are going to do is or what we are going to learn something new over here is that how we can just take a, a sentence using just a scanf here we are just going to use this scanf syntax to read a complete line of code or complete line of sentence over here okay so before just going to the solution please read uh, uh, all these lines and i hope you already i'll already read these lines uh, before coming to the my solution so we have these uh, this sample input over here and first we have the character value and then we have the string value and then we have a, a paragraph over here okay so we need to just take all these three inputs and need to print over the as a output on the output screen okay so let's take on the my solution so what I have done here is that in the first line I have uh, declared a character variable ch and then I have defined a s array that is length of 100 and a send, send variable that is length of 20, 122 okay. So what I have done here is I have used the scanf to read up uh, character value I use I have used the percent C and we all know that uh, using the percent C we can just read a character value in the C programming okay and then I have referenced the CH using the M percent so the value of uh, value of character will be stored in the CH variable okay then we I have used the scan F uh, again using percent as I, I am storing the value of string in the s variable and then i use the scan f over here this slash n is used why because if we remove this scan f then this statement will not work because it will just read this slash n and then it will not go into the next line okay so what i have done here is i have used this scan f and if you didn't understand why i use this scan f slash n then you can just read this note over here okay this statement is just saying the same but i will also give you another example of like we can remove this less n but we can use a different way okay so first first let's take with this solution then we again come to the another part okay so again we have used the scan f and i use this syntax over here so this percentage and these uh slash n or then again percentage then star and these all are explained in this note over here and in, in these lines if you didn't understand then you can just comment down uh, all of your queries and i will give the answer exact answer of that okay then what we need to do is we need to just print that value over here so i use the percent c again and percent s and then again percent s so i have used the separate all these things with the slash n means we can we need to have each and every input or each and every output need to be in the next line okay so i use the percent c and percent s for is to uh, for just storing all these values and for printing the all these values okay and then i have used all these variables names 
to just point out with the percent C and percent S. Okay, so this is the, my complete whole solution. I hope you understood. And if you didn't understand any line of code, then you can just ping me below or ping me into the comment section. I will definitely answer all of your queries. Okay, so we are going to just submit this code. Okay. Uh, let me i uh, have didn't finish uh, the solution over here because uh, this solution is completely finished but i will show you at another part okay so we can just remove this scan f over here and we can give a uh, space over here and this this solution will also work okay so I, if i submit this code then this solution will also work okay why because there are multiple ways for solving a particular problem so if we remove the slash n and put this space over here then it will come to the next line and then the compiler will read the next line with with the complete line with the space as well okay so these are the two solutions that you can use for solving this particular problem so that's it for this video please subscribe to the channel because there are more videos coming in the way and coming in the future so that will be beneficial for all of you guys for learning the coding part okay so that's it for this video we'll meet you very soon with the next video as well okay so bye bye and see you